So the first thing you're going to have to do for this video before we can really work with Inventor is actually to work with some files. We've got to move your files to the right places. So hopefully you've downloaded, let's take a look. So I go to my folder and you've downloaded in your documents somewhere is a folder called Automata Simulation. Um, mine happens to be in this folder, but don't sweat it. It's right here. There it is. So you have roughly these files, and there's a couple in there that you might not have, but it's all right. You have these. We need to put your cams, the one that you've, ones that you've made and put the planes and the axes, axes on and everything, we need to put those in this folder so this will work. So go back to your documents and find your cams. Now in my case, I put them in a folder that said Auto Automata Cams. But that yours may just be in your documents somewhere, but you're going to find them. And you have four, definitely. You have an eccentric, a hexagon, a pear, and a snail. You probably have them. The pear is number one. Um, the eccentric is number two. I believe the snail is three, and the hexagon is four. You may have them by different names. I've also got a couple of other ones here as well. I'm going to take any cams that I might use, and I'm going to definitely your four. Um, in fact, I'll just take those four for now. And I'm going to, what I like to do is I like to click on the first one I want and then hold down the shift key and hit click on the last one. And I'll select them all. And I'm going to copy those. So I can right click here and go copy. And then I go back to the folder with the simulation in it. And I paste them. And now they're in that folder as well, so they'll all work together. So that's the first step. Then, while we're in that folder, let's double click on the one that says Automata Simulation Test, this one. These, by the way, don't really exist for you. I know they're not in your folder, so it's all right. So I don't want to click on the Automata Simulation. Let's go to the Automata Simulation Test. And it has the blue and the couple of yellow squares here, or cubes, this one right here. So double click on that. And this will pop up. And it's pretty cool. It's a box, like kind of like the one that you made, with a handle that you can rotate. And this thing goes up and down. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is... And you're able to connect to your smart board farm, right? Yes. All right. Now you're going to place, go into the, hopefully it'll take you to the folder, but if it doesn't, go to the folder that you downloaded, the auto, Automata Simulation folder. Um, so go into your documents and then find the folder with that name, and you should see everything roughly that you see, I, that you see here. And let's do your first cam, which would be the pair cam, I believe. Um, or, well, it really doesn't matter. But we'll do the pair cam. So we'll double click on that. Now, before you click it to place it, hopefully you haven't done that yet. It's not the end of the world if you did. Um, let's turn it. So it, the green arrow that you see pointing straight up, that's the Y axis. If I right click, I can tell it to rotate it 90 degrees around that Y axis. And that orients it like this, as you can see, which is the way we want to put it in. So it's probably a little better to do it that way. Um, so once we do that, I'm going to left click. I don't need two of them, so I'm going to then right click and hit OK. OK, so we have a few things we want to connect here. We're going to, first thing we're going to do is take this plane right here. So let's see if we can find that plane here on my part. This one. All right, we're going to take this plane, work plane one on mine. Might be something different for yours, but and we are going to mate it with this plane right here on what's called the follower. The follower is the thing that's going to move up and down as our cam goes around. You'll see in a moment. So we're going to, once again, we're going to mate this plane here. So let me highlight it. I click it in the, if I highlight it in the browser, or I hover over it in the browser, you'll see it show up in the, in the um, image window there. And we're going to connect that to the plane that you see right here. So let's try that. We're going to hit Constrain. We're going to use mate 
So just like it comes out, make sure you get the plane. I usually, if you get to the corner, the name of the plane will pop up. So that's what we want. We're going to click that. And then we're going to come over to this plane, the one that says mate with midpoint, mid plane of cam. Well, that makes sense. So we're going to click that one and it sticks them together. And we hit apply. Don't forget to hit apply. But it's all the way up here. I ain't going to help anybody. All right. So we need to have it on this axis, on this rotating handle thingy. Well, we're going to mate this axis with this one here, the one in the handle. So we're going to keep it on mate. We're going to click on this axis, the one that goes to the center of your cam. And then down to this axis, the little white line here going through the center of this handle thingy. That sticks those together. Hit apply. Now, I'm going to close this to show you something. But if I rotate the handle, the stupid cam just sits there. So we need a way of connecting those two. Well, you see this plane here, the one in blue. I'm going to mate that with, let me find it, the other work plane, work plane two. There it is, that guy. And if it helps, by the way, go ahead to the box and right click on it. So go over to your browser. This box is kind of in the way. So I'm going to go over to the, the, where it says box and right click on it. And I'm going to go down to where it says visibility, and I'm going to uncheck the visibility. Now, it'll be gone. It's not gone, gone. It's just I can't see it. So that way I can see things a little better with what I'm about to do. So I'm going to mate this plane here. I'm going to make sure I highlight the plane itself, see if I can get the name of it to show up. No. I'm going to mate this plane with this one, work plane 2, the one that runs this way and apply that. Now, close this. If I turn the handle, sure enough, look at that. The cam goes with it. Look at that. Kind of cool. All right. Now what we need, this is, com this is completely new. We need this follower to literally follow the cam. Right now, like reality doesn't matter. It can go right through the cam if it wants. Well, we want to make that not be the case. So, when we go to do this one, it's important to note that the order in which we select them will make a difference. We're going to do what's called a transitional constraint. We're going to hit constraint. We're going to go to where it says type and move over until we find the one that says transitional. No. Oh, wait, there it is. It's in the tabs. Uh, see, Wellborn made a mistake. So go up to the tabs, click transitional. There's only one type. Notice the first thing it wants is the moving face. Later, it'll get the transitional face. So right now, the, the thing we want to have touching our cam, we're going to have to go underneath to see it, is the bottom side of our follower, this curved surface right here. So we're going to click that, and we're going to get a better view. Zoom in a little bit. And then we're going to click any one of these faces, really, but this will work. So if I click... Let's see if I click that one. No, let's do this face right here. And hit apply. And let's see if it works. Look at that. It stays constant here. And then goes up high there. So that's, that's our pair cam. And if you'd like, you can put, bring back the box. Right click on it, bring back its visibility, and you can kind of see how this thing's going to work. All right, now that it's all together, um, we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to save it. So we're going to go up here, hit Save As, and we're going to put it back in the same full place, but we're going to put your two things in it. This is for Cam 1. So I'm going to put aut automata simulation test, and then I'm going to write cam1, or you can write pair cam, doesn't matter, cam1, and then your last name. I'll put my last name. And you're going to save it. Hit OK. Now, I want you to take this, let's get rid of the box, get rid of, uncheck the visibility of the box, get me a decent angle on this thing, something like, I don't know, like that, and let's 
export to PDF. And we can keep the same name, Cam1, Wellborn, save. And that PDF is what I would like you to submit to Schoology. Yours may or may not pop up like that, but that's okay. Um, but that's what I would like you to submit to Schoology. And now you're going to go and do that for the other three camps as well. Practice this for the other three camps. All right, good luck. And submit a PDF for each of those and save each of those with like Cam 1 and Cam 2. All right, now, good luck. I'm really, I'm done.